Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Bean and I'm back with another video. And in today's video, I got y'all with the month content that I told y'all I was going to give y'all from last video. And in today's video, I'll be showing y'all the best challenges to do if you're just beginning month right now. So yeah, let's hop right into the video. Alright y'all, the first challenge I advise y'all to uh, do is going to be the weekly 50s. Now, these weekly 50s take probably like a day a day and a half depending on how focused you are and how fast you're doing them but once you complete these challenges you get a 96 to 95 net out of this and you can get some of the best cards right now in the game like Deion Sanders Sean Taylor it's a bunch of other cards you can get so and then after this challenge you should have around like 150 I mean 100k coins yeah I think this challenge you get like 100k coins out of it and so yeah, this is the first challenge I advise y'all to use. And yeah, so let's hop into the next challenge that I think y'all should do next. All right, y'all, the next challenge that y'all should do if you're just uh, beginning is gonna be this Team Affinity Challenge. Now this Team Affinity Challenge is, is really, it takes a couple hours, but it's not as long as the 50, but you still get a 95. Now, out of this whole Team Affinity thing, you only have to complete one of them, and it's this Team Standout Series 4. And if you want to, you can complete the Team Standout Series 3 which will give you a 92 overall net. But I just did the Series 4 to get the 95. And you can get a lot of good cards out of this. I think when I completed it, I got the Montez Sweat, 95 overall. And yeah, so, and then on this challenge, you don't have to get all the stars. You can do all of them on one star difficulty and you still will get the 95 overall net. But I think you should uh, put the stars up and try and do all the stars so you can get more coins out of it. And yeah, so that's it for this challenge, and let's hop into the next one. All right, so for the next challenge is going to be this Black History Month challenge. Now, this Black History Month challenge should take you two hours max. If it's taking you longer than two hours max, you're not doing something right. Now, these challenges, once you, every time you complete these, you get a 90 overall on that. But once you complete all three of them, you get a 95 either Fritz uh, Pollard, or which is a halfback Doug Williams, which is a QB, or Izzy Newsom. Uh, this Ozzy Newsome is actually pretty good tight end. Uh, I do think there's a lot of better quarterbacks for Doug uh, besides Doug Williams. So I wouldn't get to Doug Williams. And then the Fritz Pollard uh, for the next challenge I'm about to show y'all, you probably wouldn't need him. So I advise y'all get the Ozzy Newsome 95 overall net when you're, uh, after you complete this challenge. And yeah, so this challenge is probably the shortest one out of all of them. And let's hop into the next All one. Alright, so for the final challenge I think y'all should do when you're just beginning Ultimate Team is this all rookie challenge that came out today. Now, out of this, you get uh, some tokens that you could possibly get a 90 uh another 95 to 96 with, but just completing it or getting to a certain tier, let me see what tier it is. Just by getting to tier 12, which is 120 stars. You get a 95 to 96 overall net player rookie and it has a patrick queen in it which is really good this cameron dantzler is really good these are the top two cards out of it on defense and then like i said from the previous set uh this deandre swift and then the james robinson you can get out of it and those are the cards that i think y'all should get out of this set so like I said before, if you take that tight end from the Black History Month one, uh, go ahead and get that James Robinson or uh, DeAndre Swift. It's all up to preference on which one you like better. And yeah, so if you need a halfback, get these two. But if you're focused on defense, get the, I say get the Patrick Queen out of all these. The Patrick Queen is the best one. Or you can get the Cameron Dantzler if you plan on grinding your uh, Sam Mills up to 98. And I'll drop a video for y'all on the best way to uh, get your Sam Mills up to 98 overall. And yeah, so this is the final challenge. This challenge is probably a little more lengthy than the other ones. It's not as long as the 50 ones, but it's probably just probably a little bit shorter. It won't take you a whole entire day, but it'll take you a good bit of hours. See, I haven't even completed it because it came out. But all these challenges are full games. And then you get like uh some tokens that you can put on the auction that go for like 10k right now and so yeah so this challenge right here you can get a good bit of coins from it and you get a 
95 96 uh net from it and yeah that's to wrap up the video i hope y'all enjoyed yourselves if y'all did make sure y'all leave a thumbs up on this video hit the subscribe button if you're looking to see more content from me turn that post notification bell to get notified every single time i post and tomorrow y'all might not see a vid but i will be probably streaming around two o'clock so make sure y'all tune in into that i'll be in the madden tournament and it's your boy bean and i'm out I can't believe that they cross me Young nigga be shining like all